Hi. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Joshua, and today we're talking about... Uh... What are we talking about now? Ooh, you suck! Just kidding, guys. In this video, we're going to tackle some of the things that cause stage fright and some of the ways to handle it. So let's go conquer some demons. For as long as people have been getting on stage and performing, the ever-present dread of failure and ridicule has been there to threaten their sanity. Multiple famous musicians have gone on record with their tales of dealing with stage fright. See if you recognize some. There's Cher, Donny Osmond, Barbara Streisand, Carly Simon, Adele, Eddie Van Halen, and even the Prince of Darkness himself, Ozzy Osbourne. Pretty good company, huh? We've established that it's not unusual to have stage fright, no matter how famous you are or how long you've been performing. I recently posted my Halloween interview show with Hades Hand, and it reminded me of a quote by Bruce Britt on Grammy.com. When you think about it, every day is Halloween for many musicians. They wear costumes on stage, often assuming different personas, and are generally the life of the party. But there's one thing that can make performing live a fright fest all on its own. Stage fright. Britt goes on to define stage fright as a phobia that produces a symphony of coordinated biological reactions. Muscles contract, priming the body with bursts of energy. Blood vessels in the extremities constrict, resulting in tingling and numbness. An increase in heart rate produces sweat. Stage fright is the body's natural alarm response to emergency situations. Sound familiar? Good news, you're not alone. So what do we do about it? Well, there seems to be two main schools of thought. Drugs versus self-therapy. The drugs in question are a class called beta blockers, designed to close off it, the natural fight or flight response in humans. This option tends to turn down one's enjoyment levels. Many times, this option is a first step to conquer the initial hurdle of getting help. Self-therapy is a favorable option for many performers that don't want to lose their edge. By facing the issue head on, they strive for long lasting effects. Either way, doing something about stage fright is the most important step. I've personally used some of these steps myself throughout the years, and I'm here to tell you, I still freak out a little before every single video. Thanks for watching. I hope it was informative and helpful and that you enjoyed. If you'd like to support the content you love, please consider clicking the Patreon link down in the description or buy one of my CDs. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click here. And if you'd like to subscribe, please click here. Really appreciate you coming by. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.